Three D audio is gonna Sony be the world the best. Best. I'm pretty sure Tech Mobile has a speed run. Hello and welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Uh to the mostly let's play. Today we're gonna do Onimusha. And we're doing Oh my god. Literally no matter when I record, there's like a truck or something outside. I don't live next to like a highway, so I don't know why there's always a truck backing up just outside my window. So, yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do Onimusha, and we're gonna do Onimusha because like over the over the holiday, I like was like oh sweet Onimusha is like eight dollars on Steam. I love Onimusha, so I I got it. And as I was playing it, I like rediscovered my love for it, and I did everything, and I got. I did the little mini game and I got the ultimate mode. So we're gonna do ultimate mode. We're gonna have the Bishop and Short. It's gonna be a nice, easy playthrough. And you know, we'll just do some podcasty stuff while we play. We're not using that silly bear costume. Alright, here we go. So in the first one you can't skip cutscenes. I know. You can skip these, like the CGI cinematics and this note thing. You cannot skip the in engine cinematics. So there they are. For the whole world to see. So this looks sharp and it looks good because this is on Steam. This is the Steam version of the game. So it's nice and sharp. The display isn't all blurry like if you were to play it either on a PS2 recording with like if with it rigged up that you can do that or like on a, you know, something software, word software that I won't say. But yeah, so it looks good. It's going to look sharp. Samonosuke looking beautiful, as always. And yeah, there's the Bishopman Sword. And as anyone who's played um, Onimusha knows, the only way to get it is to go down to the 20th level of the Dark dark Realm and get the Bishopman Ocarina. And then when you get to the Demon World at the end of this game, you play the Ocarina at a... Uh, uh, you play the Ocarina against the wall in a little... As soon as you get there, and there it is. It's waiting for you. And you pick it up. And you can only use it in either the dark. You can only use it in the last part against the last boss. Basically, it makes the last boss a total cakewalk. But it is only usable there, pretty much. Which you know sucks. But what do you do, right? And they bring it back in two. They bring it back in three. I never beat the Dark Realm in four, so I don't know if they bring it back. Got to be honest with you. I never beat four. Can you believe it? I beat one and two and three countless times. I never beat four. And I can't find like a Steam version of four. I don't know if four ever released on Steam. And if it did, it's no longer on there. So I don't know if I'll be able to play it for this channel. There's a truck backing up outside. How is there always a truck just, just beyond, just yonder? What the hell is going on? I love this guy. He's like three voice lines. He calls you a bug, and then later he's like, "No humans could be such pest." Sounds like a, a Power Rangers villain, you know. I love it. He laughs here. Yeah. I love that I'm holding the Bishopman sword instead of the normal sword, which hit Seminosuke's short sword or whatever. And, like, you still get owned by that guy. But later, when I go fight him, like, we're going to fight him. He's, like, the first boss. When I go fight him, I'm going to kill him in, like, four hits. It's funny. And here come me, the ogre clan. Classic game. I love this game. The speed run, I think, it's 58 minutes. So it's about a Resident Evil length. I do not know the speed run. At all. Like, I'm not... This is just a leisure game that I play. Like Resident Evil 4, where I know everything and I can get everything. It's I've shown you on the channel, but I can't. Speed, speed running Resident Evil 4 is a really big task. And you got to really devote yourself to it. And I don't have the time. Simply don't. I wish I did. Destroy all the demons. Seal their souls. What? Destroy all the 
Oh, that's a hell of a command. So, one second, uh, everybody. I'm going to pause myself here. Uh, fortune has smiled on me this day. With the power of this gauntlet, I'm going to kill everyone. And my journey will be pretty much eternal because not only am I in three, which is a considerable amount of time after this one, I'm in four, which is 15 years after three. And I'm a different person. I don't... <laughs> I don't know. You receive instructions. Brilliant. All right, we out. Let's save the game. All right, so this is my first save where I didn't collect all the fluorite to unlock the mini game to get the Bisherman sword. This is my second one. As you can see, the time difference. I really just did this. You see the date? I literally just did this over Christmas. And I was like, I got to get this on the channel because I love this game. But you see the time differential? Look at that. I could have beat it without saving. I just, I just didn't. And that's the ultimate playthrough I was doing just to run around with the sword. And this is the YouTube playthrough. Alright. Cutscene that I can't... I wish you could skip cutscenes. I wish they would have added... Because, like, you can skip cutscenes and all the other ones. It's weird that you can't skip cutscenes. Same thing for, um... Yeah, Resident Evil, the old ones go on PlayStation. It makes sense that you can't skip cutscenes. But this is PS2. Oh, no. Anyway, I started slashing. Look at that. Bisherman sword. Easy claps. Look at that. Look how cool that sword is. Look at that. And it's the same. So in 3, when you do all three Dark Realms with Seminosuke, I guess you could, you could only... I guess you could skip all the Dark Realms except the last one if you want it. And just do the last one. Because uh, there's three different Dark Realms in 3. But if you do the last one with Samonosuke and Jock, you get the ultimate whip and the, and the Bisherman Sword. Now, the Bisherman Sword isn't super strong against uh, Nobunaga. But it doesn't matter because once you get it, and if you if you have maxed out all three weapons throughout the playthrough, you get the Onimusha Blade at the end of the fight instead of the Bisherman Sword. And it's super strong. So. You must forgive me. I was hitting circle there because I was just playing three in uh, what in circle is attack, whereas in this it's square. Whoa, hitting with the Ishin. Oh yeah, let's Ishin these guys. Forgot about that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oops, messed it up. Got him. <laughs> Baka da. Easy. You don't really have to Ishin with the Bisherman blade. That's why I was like, but it, it looks cinematic. It looks cool. So might as well rock it out. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I will say this. The Dark Realm is going to be free with the Bisherman sword. I can't wait to do it. You. you. And he like slams him. It came out of nowhere, apparently. It's like the third truck that is uh, going by. It's really upsetting me. That new Batman trailer released. Anybody see that? Do you guys uh, watch the trailer? Tell me what you think of it in the comments below. Because I thought it was cool. I'm super excited to see that movie, actually. I can't wait to watch The Batman. Hmm, Zerp here. Hmm, you're dead. I keep forgetting. Squares attack, not circle. Circle is, and now X is interacting, not square. I was playing three, but it's like the Japanese version, so the buttons aren't buttony. Yo, can you uh stop hopping about, buddy? Japers, what's up with that guy? All right, we're going down. All right, we're about to encounter. Yeah, get out of here. Easy, easy clap. Somebody gonna jump down the stairs. Bop, bop. Look at that. It's I, This is such a breezy playthrough. I'm so excited. Oh, no. I don't actually remember the uh, the puzzles. Should I solve the puzzles? Do you guys care? I know I have to solve the trick boxes because they have the items to beat the game in it. 
But as far as the uh, other ones go, I don't really, I don't think it actually matters if I solve those or not. Uh, I don't think it actually matters. If I get stuck or something, I'll pull it up, but I don't foresee myself getting stuck. Although, don't really need the fluoride anymore. Dead. Dead. Love it. I love it. I, I love how easy it is. Because I struggle. To get this uh, Bisherman Sword, get, to get Ultimate Mode, you have to do uh, a mini game that's really hard. And that's the same thing with 3. I don't have the Ultimate Mode with 3 yet. Because I was going to, what I was going to do, I was going to do uh, 3 right after this one. Or maybe 2. But to get Ultimate Mode, you got to beat the, the Oni shooting mini game. And yeah. Um, very hard. It's only eight stages. I keep getting to stage seven, but I, and I I haven't tried it. I haven't like sat down and really committed time to it. I was just messing around in the morning, you know. But I'll, I'll get to that. I'm not using that. We're using the Bisherman blade. All right. So this is the rope ladder, but I don't remember the one, two, three, easy. Rope ladder. It's great to stay up late in the morning. I right, man, I love this game. I love uh, the Onimusha series, and I really wish they would have done a five. Yeah, these ones, you got to collect all the books. All right, so we're actually just going to look those up and get the items for the channel. Because I don't care. You're going to hear me typing. I'm looking them up. I, I already collected all the books. Like, I already did that on my own to get all that stuff. I'm, I don't really feel like doing that for the channel for you guys. That's really annoying and having to come back to all of them. So we're just going to, you know what I'm saying, just kind of look them up and, and chill on. They can chill on me. You know what I mean? All right, what is it? It is first choice, third choice. Six choice. Got him. I love it. Oh, wow, we're at the save point already. All right, so with that, we're going to save the game. Don't remember which file we made. Was it five? It was five. And we're done. I'll catch you guys next episode. I just really wanted to get this out. Because I really do love this game, and I I know we're we're gonna talk podcast stuff. This I don't. This first episode was just me introducing the game. After this, podcast stuff. We gotta talk about Spider Man No Way Home. Yikes! All right, guys, have a good one.